What's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray and in this video we're going to talk about configuring Windows 10 for audio. Now I've done videos like this in the past. If you're interested on previous uh, operating systems, check the description. I'll definitely have them there. Now a viewer asked me the other day, can I make a video like that? Configuring and optimizing Windows 10 for audio. I thought it was a great idea. I thought about doing it in the past, but Windows 10 has its own issues. Although it's a fantastic operating system, I haven't ran into any issues whatsoever with it. It's a solid system, but I'm gonna tell you what my main problem is. Automatic updates, that's my main problem. Updates have broken my Pro Tools rig in the past. I don't care if you're running Pro Tools or any other DAW with other hardware, you can run into issues with the automatic updates. Hasn't happened yet with Windows 10, but I'm pretty sure it can happen. So the best thing is figure out a way to disable those updates. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So how do we go about doing this? So the first thing we wanna do, we wanna go to start menu, wanna go to settings, and we wanna go to devices, connected devices, and we're gonna scroll down. And over here, download over metered connections. So if you turn this option on, it's gonna prevent Windows updates from downloading drivers to all these devices here. The next thing you wanna do, you wanna go back to settings, and you want to click update and security. And you want to go over here to uh, Windows Update. You want to go to Advanced Option. Choose how updates are installed. So you want to choose Notify to schedule restart. And you also want to uncheck Give Me Updates for Microsoft products when I update Windows. Uncheck all of that. Any other options I wouldn't really mess around with. Now, I am an insider. Basically, I get newer builds of Windows 10. So I'm not going to disconnect from that if you want to you can come right here and click this stop insider uh preview builds i don't want to do that i think it's a pretty cool thing to get the newer builds and see what microsoft is working on so it's a pretty cool thing so now that i'm done with this i'm gonna close that out and i'm back at the desktop so the next thing i want to go into group policy so you can do it two ways you can press start R and it's gonna open the run window and you could type MMC and it's going to open the console window or you can come right here to where it says ask me anything and you could type in MMC, press enter, same thing. All right, so now we're gonna to go to file. We're gonna to go to add, remove, snap in and we wanna locate group policy, add, Finish, okay. Let's maximize that. And over here at local group policies, you wanna click that. And the one you're looking for is computer configuration and you wanna to go to administrative templates. Click that, open that, and you wanna to go to Windows components. And in this window, let's look for Windows updates. And when you find Windows updates, Double click, go in there, and here we're gonna configure automatic updates. So you double click, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna enable this, and you wanna look at this one, notify for download and notify for install. So you select that option. And over here you can set it up however you want it. I'm not gonna do any of that, so I'm going to apply, okay. I'm going to exit this window. It's going to ask you to save. You could save it or just exit out of it. I didn't save it. The next thing, you want to apply those settings. One way would be to restart your computer or open command prompt with administrative privileges. So you want to type in GP update slash force. Enter. And as you can see, updating policy. And that's it. So you didn't have to restart your computer. But if you wanted to, you can. It's no problem. Now, there's another application that's going to be in the description that you guys should download. So let's open the file explorer. Let's go to the desktop. And over here, I got this from Microsoft. As you can see, show or hide updates. Detecting problems. So you have two options here. Hide updates. Windows will not install hidden updates. 
show hidden updates, select updates that you want Windows Update to automatically install. So you will select hide updates and follow the program. I'm not gonna do it. Again, I wanna receive all the updates. So the last thing we're gonna do, open system, click the advanced system settings, and the option we're gonna be looking at is the advanced tab, and then we're gonna come here to performance. Basically is visual effects, processor, scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. So you wanna click settings, and you wanna click this option here adjust for best performance, press OK, and restart your computer, and you should definitely be OK. So there you go, guys. That's how you optimize Windows 10 for audio. You can take it a step further. You can go into the control panel, go into the administrative tools, then go into the services and disable services that you aren't using. There's a lot of things in there. If you don't know what they are, you can really mess up your operating system or stop things from running that your operating system needs. Here's what I would suggest. Google the services that you want to disable. Now there is a script that you can run and it'll kill, it'll remove the whole Windows uh, update service. I didn't want to put that in the video. I don't want to show you guys how to do that. I don't want to have you guys complaining that I messed up your operating system. Now, if you do find that particular script, the one thing I'll tell you, if you want to run something like that, back up your operating system and that's it but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video this is ray if you have any questions post in the bottom do me a favor check the description and give this video a thumbs up and i'm out of here later guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to find out the sample rate to your session before loading your session now you might be wondering why would i want to do that if you're a pro tools user you're using a third-party interface 